Many people know about the Federal Reserve's role in setting interest rates, but do you know that decisions made in Washington, D.C. actually have origins in small towns and large cities across the country? The Federal Open Market Committee, or FOMC, is the group charged with setting monetary policy at the Federal Reserve, the nation's central bank. But they can't do it alone. Behind every Reserve Bank president is a large group of advisors, research economists, analysts, business owners, bankers, community leaders, and others who work together to create a picture of the economy in a Reserve Bank's district. So how do they do it? As part of the process to inform monetary policy, advisors from outside and inside the Federal Reserve System provide Reserve Bank researchers their insights on current business, economic, and banking conditions. Reserve Bank presidents analyze that information as part of the preparation for the meetings of the FOMC, during which the members of the Federal Reserve Board of Governors and the presidents of the 12 Reserve Banks discuss the state of the economy from their prospective regions and the impact of these conditions on the national economy. By the end of their meeting, the FOMC decides on what steps are needed to move towards the Fed's goals of stable prices and full employment, also known as a dual mandate. So who are these advisors who support our nation's monetary policymakers? Well, they fall into four main groups. The Board of Directors, Advisory Councils, Beige Book Contacts, and the Economists who advise Reserve Bank Presidents. Like each of the 12 Federal Reserve Banks across the country, the Cleveland Fed is overseen by a board of directors who come from across the district we serve, which includes Ohio, Western Pennsylvania, the Northern Panhandle of West Virginia, and Eastern Kentucky. These directors bring perspectives from banking, agriculture, commerce, industry, services, labor, and consumers. Directors convene every 14 days to provide the Reserve Bank President with a summary of conditions in their given industries, share future expectations, and comment on what they are seeing in their local communities. These on-the-ground anecdotes help inform policymakers' understanding of the region, filling out the economic picture in ways that statistics just can't capture. Directors also make their recommendation to the Board of Governors on the discount rate on primary credit. Besides the Cleveland Board, each branch office, Cincinnati and Pittsburgh, also has a board of directors with members from that region. Business advisory councils are another way that reserve banks collect information about the regional economy. Representatives of a diverse array of industries and community organizations come together regularly to discuss trends and developments on the local level. The Cleveland Fed has business advisory councils in Cleveland, Dayton, Cincinnati, Columbus, Pittsburgh, Wheeling, Lexington, and Erie. In addition to the Business Advisory Councils, the Cleveland Fed also convenes a Community Depository Institution Advisory Council, a group of representatives from financial institutions with assets under $10 billion, to gain insights on trends in credit conditions and lending. There is also a Community Advisory Council where leaders concerned with the issues of underserved and lower income individuals and communities gather to share their expertise. Then there's the Beige Book. Between FOMC meetings, Reserve Bank analysts collect information from contacts across business sectors based on the same core questions about demand, labor, prices, and investment. This information enables a comparison of economic conditions in different parts of the country, which can be helpful in assessing the outlook of the national economy. In addition to all of the information gathered from directors, advisory council members, and Beige Book participants, Reserve Bank presidents rely on economists at their respective reserve banks who draw from their academic research and their ongoing analysis of national and regional economic conditions to deliver comprehensive briefings in advance of each FOMC meeting. Sound monetary policy cannot be made in a vacuum. And just like our counterparts throughout the Federal Reserve System, the Cleveland Fed ensures its president's contributions to these important decisions are informed by export analysis and insights gathered from district stakeholders from across the economic spectrum. Thanks for watching.